I, I didn't actually plan to run for DC bar president. Um, something I've thought about over the years, I always recognized that it would be an amazing opportunity to serve the profession and the community, but I wasn't actively planning to do it. And then somebody who was on that working group with me called and said he thought I would make a good bar president and asked me if I would be willing to be considered or interested in being considered, I should say. Um, and I said, of course, because um, I, I've always believed that we have a duty to serve when we're called upon. And I've been called upon two times in the past and I served and I've been happy both times. And um, I, I had no hesitation in saying yes this time. Um, my approach uh, would be based on things that I've learned in those other two opportunities that I just talked about. Um, the first thing I would do is I would listen. I work with other people. I find the good people in the bar and in the community who are doing the great work that needs to be done and I listen to them and I learn from them and I find out what they need. Um, and when I find out what they need to succeed, I use my, the skills that I, I learned working in nonprofit organizations um, a few years back to find creative ways to come up with resources to give them what they need to succeed. And the goal at all times, and I think I'm often able to help people achieve it, is that together we can do things that none of us could do alone. The, the ultimate outcome is greater than the sum of the parts. And that's what I hope to do as DC Bar President.